The Chosen One, written by Dr. Nancy Bayless Shepherd, writer, published author, and poetess. The late Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. marched for justice. The late Mrs. Rosa Parks sat down for justice. So this senator could run for and become president of the United States of America. And I, Dr. Nancy Bayless Shepard, could write it down on tablet. Echoing the plight of his yesteryears, the thundering of his heart, God is bringing forth his glad joy and happy tears. Though rough was the road he had to trod, the same as Moses carrying his rod. The good shepherd Moses preached deliverance, that was his call. John the Baptist preached repentance. That was his call. Jesus Christ preached salvation, then bled on the cross. Still he rides. The chosen one has a bit of it all. That is his call. President Lincoln opened the door, yet unborn, the chosen one could not go in. He had to wait for Dr. King to be born and to live to his end. President Kennedy also opened the door. Yet too young, the chosen one could not go in. He had to wait for President Kennedy to live to his end. Like John the Baptist, Dr. King had to prophesy in order for his dream to materialize. John the Revelator revealed the path and way. Though it was long ago, it has brought him to this day. Then came the Chosen One, carried under the heart and in the womb of his dear sweet mother. The name Chosen unlike another. The name given was Barack Obama. He grew strong, straight, and tall, for he too, like others, must fulfill his call. From Michigan State to the state of Oklahoma, the angels watched over and protected Barack Obama. The good people cheered and beckoned him onward. He captured the vote as it was meant to one day become the United States of America president. That is his call. Soon the White House doors will open tall and stretch wide and Barack Obama will walk inside. He will take his position alongside the others. Barack Obama, the chosen brother. Congratulations, President Barack Obama. We pray for your continued success in all your endeavors. And to God forever be the glory. God speak.